Canada's Privacy Commissioner will be monitoring a new policy at the border. Canadians traveling to the United States will have their personal information shared with the U.S. It's part of a plan to improve national security, but there are questions about what this means for you. On average, Canadians take 4.7 million trips to the United States every month. Unbeknownst to you, American border guards may know more about you than what's on your passport. The Canadian government is now sharing your private information with the U.S. And this immigration lawyer believes there's only trouble ahead. What happens when something goes wrong? The government has the wrong information about you. You can correct it. The Canadian Border Services Agency confirms that when Canadians cross the border, American officials have data on who you are, including the obvious name, nationality, date of birth, document information, and where you work. Canada's public safety minister insists Canadian law and privacy rights are being respected. The opposition has doubts. We see no evidence that the minister's exercised his responsibilities to make sure privacy is protected. Three years ago, the Prime Minister and American President outlined their vision of a security perimeter, including sharing information about who comes and goes. As I have said before, a threat to the United States is a threat to Canada. The idea is to track terrorists and those with visas overstaying their welcome. Civil rights advocates believe our constitutional rights are being tossed aside to target a small percentage. It's not really any of the government's business uh, when you choose to go on vacation, if you choose to go to Hawaii or to Florida or how many times. Um, if you're just go coming and going, they have the right obviously to check you when you're, you're coming or leaving. But why should that information be shared with the Department of Health? Why should that information be shared um, with all these other departments? Since 2012, the Canadian Border Services Agency was already collecting this information as a pilot project. Now it's for real. Now your private information is government property on both sides of the border. The Public Safety Department insists all the data is secure.